வணக்கம் எவ்ரிவன் அண்ட் சூர்யா ஐ மேம் ஒர்க்கிங் இன் அ மீடியா பேஸ்ட் எம்என்சி ஃபார் தி லாஸ்ட் த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் அண்ட் மை டோட்டல் இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இஸ் அரௌண்ட் ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் ஸோ வீ கேன் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் தி டே டு டே ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் விச் ஐ ஹேண்டில் இன் மை கம்பெனி ஆஸ் அன் எஸ்ஆர் இன்ஜினியர் ஸோ வென் அவர் வி லாக் இன் ஃபார் தி டே த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் திங் விச் வில் பி டூயிங் இஸ் மானிட்டரிங் தி ஹெல்த் செக் ஸ்டேட்டஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் சர்வீசஸ் திஸ் இஸ் டு செக் ஹவு குட் அவர் சர்வீசஸ் ஹவ் பர்ஃபார்ம்ட் ட்யூரிங் தி லாஸ்ட் டே ஆஸ் அன் எஸ்ஆர் இன்ஜினியர் Uh, our main role is to make our services reliable by our customers so the first thing which we will be doing is checking the slack channels where we have configured the alerts uh, the monitoring tool which we have used in our company for configuring the alerts are datadog grafana and splunk uh, our applications are uh, uh, running as docker containers and orchestrated via kubernetes uh, some of the common alerts which we will be getting in our environment is uh, related to the uh, container cpu uh, container memory uh, heat memory uh, cpu th- cpu throttling and sometimes we will be getting uh, servers unavailable due to a uh, high number of requests which we are getting uh, for sh- troubleshooting and resolving these alerts uh, we will be checking the root cause for this issue so for example uh, if the cpu throttling is high means we will be tweaking the cpu request and uh, limit range uh, for memory related issue uh, we will be checking whether any garbage selector have been implemented for those services and then uh, we have created separate slo dashboards for our services where we will be monitoring the slo metrics uh, slo means uh, service level objective agreement we have with our customers so we have to maintain the service availability as per the slo which we have given to the customers so uh, we will be checking whether is there any uh, dip in the slo uh, every day once the monitoring have been done for the services then uh, we'll be having our daily scrum uh, the scrum master will be the person who will be driving the scrum in scrum uh, we'll be discussing about uh, three things regarding the week's sprint task first one will be uh, what task we did yesterday uh, second one will be uh, what task we have planned to uh, do today and third thing will be uh, do you have any blockers in our task so uh, scrum will be the place where we will get input from our team members for any of the blocker task uh, one sprint will be for uh, two weeks uh, we will be having sprint planning session once in two weeks where we will be discussing about the task we have for this sprint uh, that is sprint task will be based on the product roadmap we have so uh, based on the availability of the resources and the uh, priorities of the deliverables tickets will be uh, picked by the team members uh, during the planning session Uh, this pre planning session will also be driven by the uh, scrum master uh, and then we will be having the uh, retrospect session uh, after each sprint so in retro uh, we will be discussing about what went well during the sprint is there any area for improvement uh, in the sprint uh, the team members will be giving the feedback and uh, the feedback will be taken and it will be implemented du- implemented during the next sprint by the uh, scrum master so post scrum uh, will be working on the tickets uh, assigned to us so we'll be working on the uh, pos uh, which we got requirement from dev team and any other automations based on the requirement and uh, documenting the work which we did as uh, pos so this will be like uh, uh, poc and uh, automation related task and we'll be having uh, meetings with the dev team to implement the uh, ca cd pipeline for different environments uh, consider we have a uh, lab and prod environment so we will implement the ca cd uh, ca cd means a continuous integration and a continuous deployment process in our project uh, we will be working on the automation script uh, using the shell scripting or python and uh, implement it uh, via the uh, lambda function so the lambda is a serverless service uh, in aws uh, we will be working in uh, irts so uh, irt means uh, incident response time so whenever any customers are facing any issue with our service or seeing any issues with the functionality of the service Uh, they will be creating incidents and uh, ops team will be notified uh, ops team will create the irt and uh, they will page the product team so uh, the product team and the sre team will jump in into the issue and uh, help them to mitigate the issue as soon as possible once the issue has been resolved we will work on uh, root cause analysis of the uh, irt uh, we will analyze uh, why the issue has happened how we have mitigated the issue whether the resolution was temporary one or a permanent one how can we prevent the issue from happening again so uh, we will write rca like this and uh, along with the timeline we will create monitor for the issue if required if applicable for that issue uh, hence this will help help us in preventing the irt from happening again
talking about the tools which we are using in our company so for infra related things uh, we are using aws completely uh, for storing our code uh, we are using github for deployments uh, we are using rundeck for ci cd pipelines uh, we are using jenkins and team city uh, for configuration management uh, we are using ansible and chef uh, for maintaining infra as a code uh, we are using terraform uh, for monitoring our services uh, we are using splunk grafana and datadog so uh, these are the uh, day to day activities which i handle in our team yeah thanks everyone